the uh, the moments uh, we have uh, experienced uh, in the last uh, hour and a half uh, have been historic uh, for sure, given the fact that we have opened the first negotiating uh, cluster of chapters with Albania, which means that substantially speaking, the accession talks uh, have been started in order to uh, make sure that Albania will join the European Union as soon as possible. The uh, issue of the acceleration of the enlargement of the European Union towards the Western Balkans region has been on the top of the agenda of the uh, Hungarian uh, presidency. We do understand that the uh, European uh, Union is uh, losing competitiveness, losing its weight when it comes to global politics and uh, world economy. Therefore, we understand that the European Union needs freshness, new energies, new impetus, and uh, being neighbors, direct neighbors to the Western Balkan region, knowing the region well, we know that uh, this freshness, this new energy we need, will definitely come from the Western Balkan area. Therefore, this is a true European interest that the enlargement of the EU towards the Western Balkans is going to be accelerated. On the other hand, we have to make urgent steps in order to maintain the credibility of the uh, enlargement policy. We do consider enlargement policy as one of the most important policies of the European Union. And we have to understand that this policy has lost credibility in the recent times, given the fact that the average waiting time of the countries, of the candidate countries in the Western Balkans has now exceeded 15 years. And this is simply inappropriate. We have to, uh, we have to uh, accelerate the procedure of uh, enlargement uh, now. On the other hand, the uh, majority of the member states usually say that the enlargement must be a process based on merits, merit-based process. This is the expression we hear pretty often. And the merits are here. Obviously, if you look at the um, achievements of Albania in the recent years, be it economy, be it politics, be it social issues, it is obvious that the merits are there. We Hungarians can rely on our own bilateral experience. I hope it's not forbidden here. So uh, Hungarian investors uh, play an important role in the modernization in the Albanian economy, and all of them tend to report to us that the circumstances and the environment uh, they do experience in Albania is absolutely satisfactory. It's absolutely market and competition-based. On the other hand, uh, when it uh, comes to um, the, um, the other areas, it is obvious that Albania has performed very well when it comes to the conditions which the European Union has put forward uh, in order to be able to open the uh, chapters of uh, negotiations. Therefore, it's a big privilege and honor for us that the start of the real substantial uh, negotiations of, with Albania about the accession have been started during a Hungarian presidency. I can even say that this uh, has becoming a habit on our side, since when we were in this position for the last time, 13 and a half years ago, this was the last time when the preparation of an accession of a candidate country uh, has uh, been completed. That was uh, Croatia at that time. And I do hope, uh, joining the Prime Minister's closing remarks on the IGC, we don't have to wait until the next Hungarian presidency to have the next new member of the uh, European uh, Union. Uh, more bureaucratically speaking, today we have opened the first uh, cluster of negotiating chapters 
called the fundamentals. This is one of the six uh, clusters uh, which have to be negotiated through. We know, because it has not been a long time ago when we joined the European Union, that the negotiating process, the preparation process, is really uh, tough and complex uh, and difficult. Uh, we know that experience here matters. Therefore, when the Prime Minister honored us last Friday with his visit in Budapest, we have agreed that the uh, Diplomatic Academy of the MFA in Hungary will provide training for 50 staff members of the Albanian public administration sector uh, to be able to contribute uh, to uh, the um, accession uh, procedure and the preparation in its uh, entirety. Last but not least, I'd like to tell you that we, who are located in the direct neighborhood of the Western Balkans, we carry out a responsible neighborhood policy because we do know well how it feels from the neighborhood when there is peace, tranquility and uh, development um, and, st and stability in the Western Balkan area and when you experience the lack of all these. And we all know that the integration process can help to make the Western Balkan more developed, more uh, uh, stable and, uh, and safer. Therefore, Hungary is committed to um, accompany Albania on its road towards the uh, European Union. We will do our best in this regard. I'd like to thank uh, the Prime Minister uh, for not losing patience during the uh, last months and years, uh, to be committed and dedicated, and I can uh, promise to you that uh, we will uh, reciprocate this uh, dedication and commitment. And on the other hand, I'd like to um, recognize the merits of the Commissioner for Enlargement, not because of his nationality, but because what he has done for the last five years. And I think that uh, the most telling about his performance was the letter, which has been signed by four leaders of the Western Balkan countries, including the Prime Minister, sent to the Commission President, uh, um, highlighting uh, the uh, achievements uh, under the uh, term of the Commissioner. So thank you so much both, Mr. Prime Minister and Mr. Commissioner. Thank you so much for honoring me with uh, being able to be part of this historic moment. Thanks a lot.